Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of the reason why Rihanna ended up at the Duke's mansion. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. It is freezing in here. Well, somebody's there, but that, I, I don't think that's her. That looks more like a man than a woman, but okay. But here, here's the thing. He's already falling in love with her. So why then cancel it? I get it. But he's falling in love with her. Uh, what exactly is that, sir? The man. You're pretty. Are you related to Beatrice? Oh, he's so sweet. That's a little weird.
So now the question is, who has the seal? I'm guessing so. See, somebody had to be listening and telling that conversation between those two. Mm -hmm. It's complicated. Right? And something about that is a little strange to me. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. His eyes are so pretty. Well... Mm. Sounds like a typical man. Right? Once again, he's really pretty. Pretty freaking eyes. Nice freaking voice. So, I mean, damn. Who are you and, and such? You gotta be related to somebody in this show. And Beatrice is the only blind in this show. <laughs> Very much so.
Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ass too, but he a hot ass. I mean, mm. but see, if I have to choose one, choose one, it's Noah. I mean, yes, the blonde was very good looking, very, but Noah. What in the happy sugar life? Uh-uh. What's going on? Mm -mm. Don't like it. I do not like that. Oh. It's fine. Uh-oh. Oh my god, it's probably just a simple cold. <laughs> that is such a lie. Come on, everybody was going to say something about you. Yeah, you can't really say that. <laughs> yeah, so you can't. <laughs> you gotta make something up. Oh my god.
Yeah. You want a carrier? It's a gun. I wish I could be her in this moment. Cause God, can dang it. Spring anime season is just the year of like girls getting hella drunk. <laughs> the boyfriends have to handle them. It's so cute. First Akane and, and now Reliana. <laughs> because baby, he's in love with you. He wants to be with you. You really think, like, if it was any other man that she would have went into this deal with, they would have cut that off very quick. But because he's caught feelings for you. Shit, like, <laughs> I wouldn't blame him. Like, damn. He's pretty. He's handsome. He's everything. He has a nice voice. He's like everything majority of us women want in a fucking man. <laughs> mm. Girl, you better ask him to say. Sir. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I damn it, if we do not get a second season of the show, I am going to be like, oh, this is too good. I mean, it's, you know, final thoughts on this. This was hugely underrated, but it's so good. And this cast did so well. I mean, seriously, would love to see more of this story. But like, you cannot end the show like that and expect me not to be like, where the heck is season two at? And he kissed her. That's a man. That is a fucking man. Oh my God, like, please, in a heartbeat, heartbeat, mother effing heartbeat. Oh my God, I can't.
right about that. You can, you can still die any time from now. And then you can't introduce- No, cause that's the brother. Oh my god, I fucking forgot about that! Oh. My. God. Oh, cause I was- what, Is it Beatrice? So we're not talking about what happened last night, right? Of course not. No, 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 baby, you didn't do anything. No, baby is sick. That's how we go in there, huh? That's how you ended it. Okay. But going on more and more on this, this was a freaking underrated as hell show. It, it was good. There were times where it was a little, like, iffy and such. I truly understand. The pacing is not like typical um, other shows that are almost like this with the romance aspect in in it as well but it was still good very different but you're still ending the show with a lot of more questions rather than answers is once again where the hell is Beatrice because every single time when she feels like really Anna feels like she's going to meet Beatrice somebody else comes in she goes to the freaking great I mean uh the cemetery where Beatrice and you know Noah are supposed to meet for the first time and you see Vivian's brother there so now once again where the hell is Beatrice she's somewhere she's lurking around this whole freaking town like it's nobody's business so uh, if this show potentially got a second season they would definitely finally have her and Riliana have a moment with each other and such and I think that would be a very interesting moment so hopefully we do get a second season. And, and then, of course, as she says, someone is still trying to kill her. In my opinion, I feel like it's still Beatrice. Even though, like, yes, Beatrice is played by my favorite Seiyu and stuff, I would not be mad at the fact is that Saudi Hayami is going to play a villain. Um, I think it would be very interesting. I mean, especially with the, um, I'm the villainess and I'm taking the final boss, uh, another one of my favorite Seiyus, she played the villain of that show. And so it's really interesting to see those, like, Seiyus that play these cutesy little characters and who wear the goody two-shoes and then twist it around they're playing these devious villains and stuff. And I think that's really interesting. So, hopefully. But it still leaves so many other things, like what could possibly potentially happen next for her and Noah. Um... Is Noah eventually going to talk about what he did with kissing her and such? Because, yeah, she feels fine now, and now he's sick. And it's like, come on now, put two and two together. And you're like, oh, you sick? And he's like, oh, no. And you're like, oh, hey, take care. And you're like, girl, you ain't gonna ask. But I love the fact that she asked him, like, oh, hey, was I a nasty drunk or something? No, you were sweet and caring. You were just still asking a lot of questions, but I think in the moment because he loves you so much, he just wanted to kiss you and, and ish. But um, also, I will say once again, Noah's brother is very suspicious. So 
I, I would be watching his ass too. I would literally, I would be watching any guy who is not Noah or his knights. That's it. Anyone who is outside of that circle, you need to watch the fuck out for it because everybody has certain intuitions and not everybody is going to match up. So something else is going on here. Of course, whoever knows if we ever get a potential season two. I mean, it's a like I said, it's a very underrated show. I would love to see it, but I feel like it might be a little while and such. It really just depends on how much sales wise and how popular it was during the season. And remember, it was competing against a lot of other things this season. Um, but even if it does or does not also be, you know, happy. Maybe I'll end up reading the series after. I really, truly don't know. But you end on a cliffhanger like that, then yeah, I kind of need to go ahead and read the series just to see what in the world would be in store for her and what, how this relationship between her and Noah would, you know, end up like. Do they have kids? Will they eventually get married? Because it is a little weird that he's like, oh, I'm not going to stop or end my engagement. And such in her just in her drunk moment just I feel like we're gonna break up right it, it was so sweet but I'm like secretly hoping that these two kind of just stay together even longer and they fall more in love with each other and eventually confess to one another and then you know get married have babies and whatever but who freaking knows but other than that guys that is my reaction review towards the entirety of the reason why Really on it. Ended up with the Duke's Mansion. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, uh, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all officially next time for the continuation of summer anime. <laughs> but until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.